Hello and welcome to this update to Hairstrand Designer version 1.287. Now in this version you'll see that I've got these two icons here to load and save uh, the HST files. That will save just the variables that you've changed here and you will need to regenerate based on the current state of each map. So for example if I was to enable these three maps and generate Okay, now these are now able to export. It's got these loaded into texture memory. And if you wanted to save your settings, you can click on the either the HSD file here to save uh, what you want to call the project. Or if you want to save the project as well as the textures, you can click here or press S. And that's going to ask you for a project name. I just call this um, PRJ. Okay, so it's going to ask you to save the the HST file somewhere, and as soon as you save that, it will automatically start saving the textures out to the same location. Uh, so that's done. So as you can see, when you start to change some values here, and we can load in our original project. So I'll just load that in again, and we've got everything back. Uh, it also works with all the colors as well, so if we change these colors up, uh, anything at all, any sort of the, the seed value, uh, any offsets and things like that. Uh, we can load back our previous project. Everything comes back exactly the same. Uh, you can also um, do a couple of new things with this version. So if I reduce the spacing between each, uh, sorry, the set distance between each set here and I press the right arrow key, I can actually bring in three extra sets. To see that, I'll have to bring reduction down. So left arrow key, right arrow key, adds three more sets. These sets don't have any of the override functionality. They only, uh, they're kind of generic and they're based off this set here. So you can by all means move these around, set distance and spacing. And then you can start to move these, uh, these offsets to overlap and make a nice big bunch. And you can do some tapering on everything. And if you don't want certain things that have any tapering, then and just reduce this slider here for any of those extra ones and you've got all your overrides and things like that um, so the extra three sets are just me trying to work out how I'm going to bring in the next version where it's going to be the ability to add and remove sets I'm going to use this panel down here for adding sets, removing sets, moving them around, positions and things like that uh, you'll be able to click on a set and actually physically move it um, and that's going to be the plan at least for the next version and we'll see how that goes but that's going to be in a few weeks time uh, I thought I'd get these in before the end of the month uh, in fact the end of uh, the week even but uh, everything's good here so I'll save that as project one and I'm just going to show you that you can go into these and actually start to muck about with your variables Bear in mind, if you're going to change your colours, the, the format of this isn't RGB, but it's BGR. And it's just the way that it uh, converts the uh, the colour data, that it's uh, B, then G, then R. So if you're going to change these, just bear that in mind. But otherwise, you can do it quite easily in the application. Um, you've got all your other things here. And there's a few extra things that you might not have control of. Uh, inside the software itself. So you've got fade in and fade out. That's there. Scale in, scale out, I think is there as well. Um, I think that's just the odd thing. Min scale, max scale, that's there. Uh, max strands, I guess you could play with that. Um, yeah, not too much at the minute, though. Yeah, you got yeah pretty much everything there. That looks like that's wrong, that first power one. But anyway, that's everything ready to go. I'm just going to check that frizz thing before I do the update. Um, but otherwise, that's uh, now the latest version and I hope you enjoy using this. Thanks for watching. Bye.